Hey guys, Leilani and I are making dinner together and I wanted to bring you along so you could see what it is we're having tonight. And the inspiration for this was kind of um, what can I make to use up what we have. And I was thinking about stuffed peppers, but I only had three and I needed four. We have four adults. So I thought, well, what if I did a casserole? So I went on Pinterest and I kind of just came up with this recipe based on everything that I found and the different recipes that I saw. So this is just going to be my take on the stuffed, the unstuffed casseroles that I found. So I'm going to show you exactly what it is we have, what we need. Um, but again, I'm just kind of making this up winging it. So we will see how this turns out. So Leilani is working on the garlic cloves. Her job is to get me three pieces. So we're going to mince up three garlic cloves. I've got two small to medium onions there that I'm going to chop into large pieces. Three large bell peppers. You could use two, but I'm going to use three because we like bell peppers in this house. The corn you really don't need to use, but I'm just using it just for some added veggies and to give it some color. And that's probably about a cup of um, frozen corn. You're going to need some petite diced tomatoes, which we're going to drain, some salt and pepper. And then in my steamer, I made some rice. I could have done it just 15 minutes, but I did it 20 and that was a little bit too long but what I did was I mixed um, chicken broth and water to cook it. Mm, good flavor. And then over here in my tea fowl I've got my hamburger cooking. That's about a pound of burger and once that's brown I can get everything in the pot. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to chop up all the veggies that I need and I'm going to do it into very large chunks. Once my meat is brown, I'm going to go ahead and take that out and I'm going to put my veggies in and once they get soft, I'll put the meat back in, I'll put the tomatoes in, the diced tomatoes that we drained, and then I'm going to add the rice and I'm going to just incorporate all that together and then dinner's going to be done. It's a one pot meal, it's going to be delicious and everyone's going to love it, or at least I hope so. my unstuffed pepper skillet is all done. I'm getting ready to try a bite. Now be creative with it. Don't feel like that you have to follow exactly what I did because I kind of made this up myself anyway. I just took a bunch of recipes I found on Pinterest and I just put stuff together and I just kind of was winging it. So what I did though I tested out one of the peppers to make sure it still had some bite to it because I knew I was going to be adding the rest of the ingredients and you don't want to have the veggies be mushy before your whole thing is done. So basically you're just going to um, kind of heat everything through and make sure all the flavors kind of meld together. So here's what it looks like. So good. I only seasoned it with salt and pepper. I didn't use anything else. I wanted the flavor of all the veggies and the tomato to kind of be accented or accentuated, whatever you want to say. So good. This is definitely going to be a regular. So like I said, be creative. Leave a comment below if you try this yourself if you use the same ingredients that I did or if you add things to it that I didn't add maybe I just didn't think about it so you can kind of give me some ideas for the next time I make it so thank you so much for watching guys and I hope to see you soon bye